Good morning. Another day. <laughs> right, well, basically this morning I woke up and there was a catastrophe. Effie had eaten my plant and dug up the plant and eaten the basket and there was soil everywhere. But in a way, I can't be mad because I've been meaning to repot a few of my plants um, and just like top up their soil and also de-weed my garden, like my terrace, which it's been a long winter and like there are weeds aplenty. So she inspired me this morning because I was honestly just gonna like go on my laptop all day. But now I've got the gardening hat on y'all. I've got the Outdoor Voices gardening hat on. I don't think it's a gardening hat, but. And this is my gardening look, PJ's baby. So let's get out there. I've got my gloves and I'm gonna do some gardening now. So here's an example of the chaos that has ensued. Let's get this de-weeding under control here. Like this is an example of what needs to go. So I'm gonna dig all this up. I just did this section and look at how many weeds there were. I didn't even think it looked that bad before, but now I'm like, I'm a disgusting person. So, gonna have to keep going. It is the evening. It is the evening and I'm getting ready to do an Instagram live in eight minutes. Um, oh, who that? Who's that girl? <laughs> Basically, I was talking to my friend Rebecca Monroe and I was telling her that I found evenings to be the most difficult time during this because I kind of like don't really know what to do with myself in the day I'm like used to it anyway from working from home But when it gets to like six o'clock when I would normally like be out with my friends or whatever Obviously, we're not doing that. So I find the evenings a bit more challenging and she said we should do Wednesday night wine club um, Instagram lives every week. I was like that's actually a really good idea. So we decided to do that I'm not drinking wine tonight because um I drank wine on the weekend and it got a little sad. Who's that girl? So the point of the wine club is not necessarily to drink wine, although wine is welcome. I'll probably drink wine next week. Um, but I'm, I'm taking a breather and you can drink anything. You don't have to drink anything. Basically, it's an excuse for us to chat on Instagram Live. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready for that. Something very, very special just came in the mail. Um, from my friends at Choosing Keeping, um, which is an independent stationery shop here in London. I have spoken about them so much. Um, I just think they're the most special store maybe in all of London. And they've sent me this gift, which is wrapped like something... I just... You don't see wrapping that looks like this anymore. It's, it's so special. Oh my gosh. I've just opened up this wrapping paper. And I literally gasped. I was like, oh, because it is so pretty. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, oh my gosh. This is honestly making my day. Look at this. Oh my God, it's a little bobblehead. Look at this little bobblehead. This is so cute. I have no idea what this is. Basically, I was talking to Julia, who's the owner, and I was saying that I got some craft supplies and we were just talking. We talk all the time. And um, she was just saying that she was gonna send me some stuff to cheer me up. Look at this. Oh my gosh, they are colored pencils. <gasps> are you guys getting as much happiness as I am from this? Oh my gosh, they're all just like different colored pencils. I've been trying to get a little more inspired during this self-isolation experience. Oh my gosh. And she said that she was gonna give me some stuff that was gonna help with that. I know we're not really shopping right now and it's a really uncertain time, but if there's somebody in your life who you think would just like really enjoy something like this, they wrap everything like this when you order it. I've made so many orders from there. All of my closest friends get Christmas gifts from Choosing Keeping. Oh my gosh. Isn't this amazing? Like, look at this gorgeous notebook. And these, they make these. It's got marble here. These are handmade. 
I just think it's such a special way and like you can get something that's not super expensive, you know? Um, it's just a really special way to show somebody that you're thinking about them and also kind of like boost their creativity a little bit. Oh my gosh. I've seen these in the store before. These are pastel watercolors from Japan. Like, this is the thing, it's like too pretty to use. But basically, I'm working on a project right now and I've been kind of like alluding to it. And um, I'm not gonna like announce what it is or anything right now, but I, I've been like hit with a creative block and last night I had a Reiki session, a virtual distance Reiki session with um, my friend Tamara, who's Wolf Sister. And she really helped me, whether or not you believe it or not, doesn't really matter. It helped me kind of like meditate and get some clarity on some of my thinking. And I think a lot of what I discovered last night within myself was just that I need to be more creative and be more vulnerable and do things like paint and stuff, which is like so scary to me. I don't know why. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this little notebook. And the pages are gold on the outside. Anyway, if you can go support their store, um, please do. They're, they're so amazing. And I know a lot of businesses are struggling right now. So it's it's really tough but julia and her team at choosing keeping are some of the good ones and um i don't know i just want to give them a little shout out because that's so special thank you So I am about to repot my beautiful aloe plant, which is overgrown, this little pot, into this baddie. Et voila! It's crazy to think that it, this plant was in here, but I think it's going to be much happier in there. I just wanted to show you guys this product from Heckles. This is a piece of chalk. This is actually a room diffuser. So you take this oil, which smells so good, like sea lavender, it says. And you basically dispense half of the bottle onto the chalk and the chalk absorbs the scent and diffuses it really gently throughout your apartment or your home or the room. It's glorious and also very therapeutic to do it like this. I really need to do something about my bathroom. I just put all this stuff in my sink. But what I'm gonna tackle first is my perfume collection. I do have an IGTV up that I just put up uh, with my favorite perfumes, but I've realized I've got way too many and I need to like just tone it down. I also just took everything off my shelves here and I'm just gonna make everything look prettier. I couldn't really part with any if I'm honest. I got a, rid of a couple maybe, um, but I think it looks a little bit better and it definitely reminded me of a few scents that I haven't been wearing, that I should be wearing. I just love fragrance, okay? Don't judge me. Here is my uh, dinner tonight. I have microwave meal and an episode of Ozark. <laughs> I actually had a really great day today. I woke up in a positive mood and um, I cleaned a lot of my flat. Like honestly, it felt so good just to clean. I've been up since seven o'clock this morning. It's seven o'clock at night and I have literally been nonstop just like cleaning, organizing. That felt really good. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I just had a workout and I am starving. Um, it was like an intense cardio workout and I need like food, 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 food. And I also didn't really have a big dinner last night for some reason. Decided to make an omelet. I've never, <laughs> I've made an omelet before, but like it's foggy because I genuinely like don't cook. So I'm making an omelet. Here's what it looks like. I just like 
had a lot of, I had like that mortadella in the fridge that needed to get used up. And I think maybe, I don't know, it's quite a hearty omelet you're seeing here, but I'm excited. I also just got this amazing delivery of juices. So it's from a company called Daily Dose. They messaged me on Instagram and they're a small startup company and they asked me if they could send me some juices. And I love drinking juice. I don't do juice cleanses really because like I freaking love solid food. You know what I mean? Uh, clearly. I love solid food, uh, but I do love to add juices into my everyday like diet. So I mix together a Dulce Verde, cucumber, apple, kale, lemon, mint, and then I also popped in a hot shot. It's um, lemon, ginger, agave, and cayenne, which is spicy. So I'm gonna drink this juice. I've got a cup of tea, my omelet. So as I was saying, Daily Dose is a startup and they are offering everybody 20% off um, if you wanted to get a juice cleanse like these juices are really yummy I've drank I've had them before and I've bought them in cafes and stuff really really great um, So if you wanted to get some juices they deliver right to your door 20% off with the code Care pack so just something to ponder. I'm really looking forward to drinking them and They also use like wonky fruit and vegetables So they're helping with food waste and things like that and I think they're also selling fresh fruit and vegetables too. So if you're finding it difficult to get fresh fruit and veg, you can order through this um, startup and they're gonna deliver it right to you. So thank you very much, Daily Dose. I'm excited to drink all my juice. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It smells so good and I cannot wait to devour it. It looks like a, like a Panzerati or something. It looks amazing. A little pocket of heaven. Exciting times are upon us. My paint by number kit just arrived. <laughs> it's huge so obviously it's of Tower Bridge and let's see what this entails oh dear oh dear I think I maybe was slightly optimistic oh my goodness and look at how small these numbers are and I get one brush <laughs> okay I also got two cross stitching kits now I'm not sure if any of you know this, but I am actually really good at cross stitching. It's a long story. I did grow up with my grandma around, so I can cross stitch, okay? <laughs> and I also got this one, which is so dumb, but I love them. The end of an era for this bed, it's time to go bye bye. I was in a very anxious state, and I think, and I, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think that bed was a bit of a symbol of me telling myself, everything's gonna be amazing, you know? So I feel like I don't really need that anymore. I don't need that like huge statement. So yeah, it's all a very positive thing. I saw like some Hateration Nation comments from people on Instagram being like, you just got this bed and, now you're getting a new bed, and somebody was even like, you don't even know what you want in life. I was like, oh! Oh my God, that hurt. <laughs> um, so, it's just a bed. I, I mean, the comments I was getting were insane. Um, but I can see that you, some people have become very attached to the bed. But that is the reason, deep down, on a spiritual level, why I decided to get this bed, which I think is just like a bed. So I feel very positive about my new bed. <laughs> Wait until like four months from now when I'm getting a new bed and I'm like, I think spiritually I just needed to get a new bed. <laughs> and voila, this is my new bed. Honest to God, I don't know how I did it. I really don't know how. This is my bed from Muji. So as you can see, there's no headboard. So very different to what I had before. And I also really like that there is storage. Effie's like, mom. <laughs> I like that there's storage here. So if you wanted to put something under there, you could. And then as well, there is storage here, which is really handy for me because I don't have a lot of storage in my flat. So I had my first night in bed and I enjoyed. So I basically just got the Muji duvet, <laughs> got the Muji duvet set and the Muji pillow set. Um, I really like it. I think it's really simple and cute. Hey lady. I think I probably will get the headboard, if I'm being honest, 
but I'm not sure. I just want to live with it for now and see, but I think I probably will get the headboard. I do like it without the headboard, but hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just saying that because I'm so used to having like a huge headboard, but yeah. And obviously I need to sort out my tables, but yeah. It's Sunday today. I just woke up. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself today. I think I might just like have a spa day, hair mask, I don't know, get in the tub. We'll see. We'll see what the day brings. Definitely going to do yoga tonight. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the vlog. Hope you guys liked it. I will see you very soon for another vlog at home.